I'm Brian Tomasetti, owner and CEO of Six Skins Custom Drum Wraps. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be re-wrapping a Dennis Chambers Signature Snare from Pearl Drum Corporation. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to remove all of the hardware. So we've already removed the heads and the uh, rims, and uh, but we also have to remove all the lugs, the strainers, which in this case there are two of them, um, and the badge. We also need to remove the air hole. So, uh, the tools to get this done properly, uh, in most cases, is going to be a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, I like to use a 7 millimeter uh, socket on a small power drill. It makes it quicker, doesn't damage the screws on the back of the lugs. Um, let's get started. Uh, so, using my trusty power drill, uh, I'm going to be going in and removing all of these little tiny screws that you see inside of here. And uh, so let's get started. Okay. Now that we've removed all the, all the lugs and the two strainers from the shell, uh, now we have to take off the badge. Now most badges for most major drum corporations, uh, they'll use little tiny screws as well as they'll use a double stick tape on the back side of the plate. Um, generally the easiest way we've found to remove that is take your screws out first and then using a putty knife just slide it up under the edge and it'll lift right off. So as you can see, I'm using the putty knife, laying it perpendicular to the shell, putting it underneath the badge, should slide up under the edge fairly easy, and then slightly lifting it. Don't try to take it all off in one bit or it might bend the plate. So now that we've done that, then we can just go around on the other side, and again, under, lift slightly, and it comes right off. <laughs> 